are now in stores across the world. An alliance led by the World Health Organization said on Monday that a total of 156 countries have joined the global COVAX scheme intended to ensure fair distribution of supplies of future vaccines against COVID-19. The list includes 64 wealthier self-financing countries and accounts for about two-thirds of the global population. Head of Gavi Vaccines Alliance, Seth Berkeley, said after a deadline of last Friday, September 18th, to make binding commitments. The goal of COVAX is by the end of 2021 to deliver 2 billion vaccine doses around the world with healthcare workers prioritized initially and then the most vulnerable 20% of people in every participating country, regardless of income level. The WHO director Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus told the news conference. It means that the COVAX facility is now open for business. These countries, plus those that will join in the coming days, will participate in the facility alongside 92 lower income countries that will be supported in the procurement of doses. That means that more than 156 economies representing at least two thirds of the world's population will be working together to ensure global access to COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX facility. We are at a critical point and we need a significant increase in countries' political and financial commitment. This isn't just the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. Uh, yes, we've, uh, we've seen uh, the, the postings on the CDC website and we're actually in, in touch with CDC to, to better understand uh, the, the changes that have been made. There are parts of the website that appear to retain previous evidence and parts that appear to change. So we're just trying to check with our colleagues at CDC uh, the exact nature of the, the change, if any, in their um, advice regarding this. Uh, certainly, we haven't seen any new evidence and our, and our position uh, on this uh, remains, uh, remains the same. We've got to look at this as a huge success when we've got 64% of the world's population as a single uh, entity working together. That's huge progress. And as uh, Dr. Berkeley uh, just mentioned, there are many others that are still interested to join. So what we've managed to do, or, or a lot of credit here, obviously, to Gavi, WHO, CEPI, who've worked together on this is to build a coalition um, at a time when the world has been so worried about countries going bilaterally. Um, we now have 64% of the world's population, and, and this is growing still.